Welcome to another Shadow Cloud PC test video with our boost package. This is the Intel Xeon 4-core CPU, the Quadro P5000 GPU. This is similar to a GTX 1050 Ti, 12 gigs of RAM at 2400 megahertz with our 256 gigabyte SSD. And we are going to be doing 1080p resolution to keep this game above 60 FPS. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell. So let's go ahead and get in here. First thing I like to do is show you guys on the Shadow app what my latency is doing and what my connection is doing. We are on the menu, so of course we're at maxed out 144. This is typical for my latency. Works really, really well for me in games. It's rare that I have an issue with that. And of course we are on my 1440p monitor with variable refresh rate. So next, before we continue on to the gameplay, we'll take a quick look at the settings. Like I said, we're doing 1080p. We don't need any VSync with Shadow. You never do. It says custom because we have motion blur off, but we're actually on the very high preset, maxed out on everything that you can do with that, with motion blur turned off. So getting into the gameplay, um, you'll see that as always with games I test on Shadow, on Boost, I always complain about the bottleneck with the CPU and you won't see anything any different here. You're still gonna have that CPU bottleneck. However, this game is gorgeous. It runs great and it is definitely more than playable on Shadow PC at maxed out settings. However, the Quadro P5000 would be capable of pushing much higher frame rate, especially if we wanted to go 1440p, if it had more CPU power behind it, but unfortunately it does not. But it does run the game really, really well. I don't want to harp on the CPU too much because I do cover that in every video. But what you will see here is I picked this area because you're going to get to see this little spot right here. You're going to get to see a cutscene. You're going to get to see more gameplay while raining and while other NPCs and whatnot are being uh, are being rendered. So and then you're going to see when the storm leaves and when we get back to the buildings. So I want you to see some transitions between the cutscenes and I want you to see some gameplay while some different things are happening. So you can get a really balanced idea of how this game's going to run on Shadow PC. So with that, I'm going to leave you with the gameplay. I've tested this on GeForce Now. Uh, if you're interested, go check out that video. I'm also going to be testing it on the Ryzen 4500U in the uh, Lenovo laptop that I have. I'll probably test it on my GTX 1050 Ti. And uh, just about any other system I have, I'll probably throw videos out. Not just because I'm really enjoying the game, because it's also really, really well optimized. Uh, much better than a lot of PC games that come out, and I was really impressed by it. So I'm wanting to test it pretty much everywhere that it's available for me. All right, guys, go ahead. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay video. You're going to see a lot of different areas. You're going to see some transition in between cutscenes and gameplay, and I will get back with you when we get farther into the video.
your status? Chirelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Must be from the bodies we couldn't get up to the incinerator in time. Comes with the territory, I'm afraid. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. distribution center. Sam, 
Come back to the distribution center. Check the location on your compass. Alright, that's gonna do it for our gameplay testing on Shadow for Death Stranding. Very high settings, 1080p. The game runs fantastic. It runs great everywhere I tried it. Like I said, GeForce Now, uh, my 1050Ti, the 4500U is coming up. I have some more testing and many, many, many more games and videos coming, especially on cloud gaming and my local builds here. Thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, bring that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos, and feel free to leave me your comment down below letting me know what you're playing and what your thoughts are. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.